President Trump's immigration policy has many farmers across the nation worried as they're seeing fewer workers. As KREX 5 News reporter Katerina Krasafis found out, the Grand Valley is no exception. Opportunities to replace manual labor with equipment has been expensive for farmers. But with the new immigration policy and less workers, some think this may be the only opportunity for survival. It's a nationwide problem that hits close to home. Right now, we have a very serious labor shortage in agriculture. And farm manager Bruce Talbot... We run about 40 to 50. ...has seen the impacts firsthand. I'd like to have 60 in the orchard. Not only has the shortage slowed down production... We've already lost some fruit this year because we let it get too ripe. But for farmers working 10 to 12-hour shifts... It's made labor much more intense. Yes, I think it's more difficult because many farmers don't have enough people to work and they need their fruit, but there aren't many people. Currently, 5 to 12 percent of Talbot's workers are here through a temporary working visa. But regardless, getting enough employees has been a tough task to work through. The government has made those programs expensive and onerous and inflexible and we just we have trouble getting the people here that we want to get here. I think it's bad what he's doing especially for the people that come from Mexico because all the people that work here just want to sell and work decently without any problems. But in order to enjoy the sweet treats that nature has to offer. The Colorado peach industry especially is very unique. There are very few places that can do what we do and it would be tragic to lose it. Talbot and his staff will continue to operate as if nothing is going to change. As of right now, farmers have not seen a dramatic change, but they are worried about these trends continuously happening in the workforce. First on the Western Slope, I'm Katerina Krasafis, KREX 5 News.